here at Ward High Tech and we're looking at this Hawachon 230 model. Now, it's a YMC, so Y, Y-axis, MC driven tooling. But Absolutely tell me correct. more about the spec, Paul. Uh, well, I picked and identified this machine to talk about. Uh, walked around the, the, the showroom. Here's plenty of Hawachon machines available from stock that you can come here yourself and look at. But this one really sort of took my interest for, for a few reasons. Firstly, the, the capabilities of it in such a sort of small footprint. Um, as you've identified, YMC, you've got a Y-axis, mm -hmm. uh, a driven tool machine, but the Y-axis is plus or minus 60 millimetres, which is, is quite large for a, for a small machine, a sort of 8, 10-inch chuck machine. Also, you've got a uh, double-point index in turrets, you've got 24 tool stations essentially on this machine. Um, and with the mill drill and that Y-axis, it really does mean that you have a lot of flexibility in a very small footprint. So who's going to look at buying one of these machines? I think this is a, a really good general purpose turning centre. So I think if there's companies out there at the moment that are generally looking at making an investment or an upgrade on a, on a lathe, um, then maybe they want a little bit more capability, they want that Y-axis to give them the ability to do more machining operations at once. Uh, they want to be able to get more tools on their turret so that they can again have to not worry about breaking the machine down to add tools onto it. Mm. So really somebody that's maybe advancing to the next level um, needs to be affordable, which of course the Huachon is, but also wants to be reassured that they're buying a machine that is going to stand the test of time and of course with Huachon um, being the, as told by Ward High Tech, the largest privately owned uh, machine tool builder in Korea, having been doing this for years and having seen all the other machines here, I think if you came here you'd be assured that this machine is, is fit to last. And Julian has, um, is one of the colleagues here and he's even said to us, Ward High Tech like to put their arms around their customer, they like to listen, they like to understand what their needs are, because they have got a machine to suit everybody really. So because of that, they've got the confidence in knowing whatever the customer needs, they've got. And, and there is two or three other points on this again, which I, I just made some notes earlier, as you probably saw me looking at. This has got 425 mil cutting diameter on a machine of this size. So again, when you're, when you're scoping out your, your possibilities, you're looking for machines that offer you the maximum working envelope in yeah. the smallest area. So yes. the most economical purchase in a sense. Also, um, one of the things here is simple little things like the operator panel. Now I know this is obviously in its sort of pre-delivery state, but this will turn to 90 degrees. So from an operator's perspective, everything is there at your fingertips. Mm. The way the slant bed on this actually slants towards the bottom of the machine for exiting the swarf Swore. is also, um, you know, is, is essentially important for an operator and that's very, uh, very good on this machine. One last point, and it sounds like I'm reeling them off, but there is lots here. Um, the cutting area and the feed zone on these machines are separate. Now that basically means when the machine's being um, the feeding of the axes on this machine compared to where the actual cut area is. Because they're separate, that means that any heat that's dissipated doesn't affect other areas of the machine, so there's less chance to have growth on the thermal machine. Thermal growth. Oh. So all of these points, you sort of look at in detail and you think, small footprint machine, lots of capacity, lots of flexibility, and of course very affordable under Ward High Tech's um, financing schemes. Yeah, of course, buy now and pay nothing for six months, which is pretty much going into next summer time. So for more information, contact Ward High Tech.